Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and this is four or five random horror games. Yeah, found all these on Itch.io. I'll have a link down in the description. This first one is Inky's Sleep. It's a cat horror game. Yeah. Uh, it's the demo for it, specifically. After finishing the usual cat stuff, Inky settled down on his favorite pillow in warmth and comfort, as he always did. But, sinking into slumber, instead of the usual cat dreams, Inky saw quite unusual things. Yeah, let's do it. Boop. Also, leave a like. It really helps. And if you have any suggestions for games I should cover, please leave them down there. Hi! Little baby! What's going to happen to my little guy? Cute. Yeah, come here. Oh. Inky? You okay? You've been put in prison. I see. Oh my god. Come here. Come here. Oh. Love you. Meow. Don't you hit E or Q? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Little man scared. All right, let's check it out, buddy. Row, row, row. I live with a cat named Teddy. He's my roommate's cat. I love him. I never lived with a cat before. So first I was like terrified. It's like, oh my god, he's gonna scratch me, he's gonna bite me. Nah, he's chill. He's a good cat. A little stinky, but he's a good cat. So he escaped the prison? No. Guess we're looking at the bars. Oh. Oh, buddy. All right, Inkster, let's. I think it's huge. All right, Inkster, let's not go in there. Love that organ. I'm already, like, so scared for this little guy. Let's go back. Oh, fuck. Better land on your feet. Your nubby little feet. This is giving me like Frambo vibes. And the way his eyes look, kind of remind me of, like, Limbo. It's like Limbo meets Frambo. That's a lot of bow. I want that yarn, but... Oh. 
Yeah, there's no jumping or climbing. My head turned towards the window. Oh, that's so cute. So it's a cocoon, and then I'm... Wait. I need to... I don't use the mouse. Because this is out of order. It needs to go... Caterpillar, cocoon, it opening, and then butterfly. Oh, I see. Okay. So... Two, four, three, one. I did it. Oh. Ah, stinky inky. Okay. Yay, that's not that's not bad. He's just like a little black void. Sentient yarn. <laughs> oh, the other hole closed up. You can't see because it's behind me. Mm, back in the long tunnels. Hmm. Inker Stinker, I think this is a trap. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Let's do it. Box Fort? There's a YouTube short on, uh, on, oh, god damn, a YouTube short on YouTube, really? There's a short movie on YouTube called Box Fort. Uh, these people build, like, this massive, like, box tunnel thing in their house. And then overnight, they think that something's gotten into it. It's really good. Well, all right, here we go. Whee! Okay, so this connects up to that one. Sick. Aw, look at him. Okay, so there's an X up there. An X there. <gasps> Big jump. Cute. Ah! Okay, so we have a spiral and something. Let's go over this way. Yeah, we haven't seen the W. We saw that one. Oh, there's an exit there. Hmm. Let's go with the W. Let's get that dub. Hey, I got out. Here, let's go actually go back inside. I want to see what that light was. If it'll let me go back that far.
Yeah, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so that that switch will open that up. Got it. Get that dub. I like whenever he gets startled, his little ears flatten. Oh. Also, what does this box say? Octo... Blah, 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 blah. I wonder if the dev is... Like, Russian? Or... Something like that. Not very good at recognizing those... Uh... Different languages. It was not just like in exact English. I'm like, huh? What's this? Wee! Into another box. Yeah. That looks like Russian. What? Wow. Got a tree. Can't wait to fuck that up. Okay, so we have a little hint here. Let me write this down. So... So we have some triangles. Two, three, four, five. And it says this one is four. This one is not five. Huh. Are these supposed to be the trees? I think that the triangles mean the trees. Okay, so I gotta figure out. There's only f four trees. Four, five. So it'd be like one. And let's go look for the yarn. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ugh. Meow. Oh my god. That's fucking sick. Oh, it looks like a uh, Fulma Alchemist. <laughs> what was it, Wrath? Was Wrath the one for the eyeballs? Meow. Okay, so we saw it, the yarn go down here. So let's jump up in this one. Meow. Oh, actually, there's something rustling over here. There it is. Ooh, that opened the box, I believe. Yeah, here we go. This is awesome. This is very, very, very good. Okay, so... Whoop. Upside down triangle. So we have lightning bolt there. We have nothing here. Upside down triangles. That takes me back. Okay, so this is 
one of the goals. Let's go ahead and plop to reset it. Let's go down lightning bolt. Okay. Whoa. This loops. Oh, here we go. I thought that was going to loop me back. Huh. Do I need to find the yarn? Hi. That's not right. Yeah, there's the yarn. So it goes down there. What if I go over this way? Nope. Let's get ball. And then we'll go down lightning. Jump over. Maybe I don't got it. <laughs> No, I got it. Sick. There we go. Stay there. Stupid. Uh, now I just gotta remember how to get out. I think it's down here. Lightning. And over here. What? Oh, I don't think I ever figured out where the top. Uh, uh, switch thing is. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, I need to figure out how to get up there. I don't think I figured that out yet. Oh, there we go. Now, I go through lightning and go all the way right. Sick. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play the full version of this when it comes out. Because this is great. Oh, kitty. <gasps> Look at his little eyes. I think I just went by something. Inky, run. Inkers. Inker, sinker, run. No! <laughs> oh, fuck. Meow. Do I even want to see what it's doing? That's oh, on his knees. Oh, it got dragged away by something.
So whatever that thing I saw behind the bars is... It killed that thing? Hi! Oh my god, hi! You're adorable as well! I love you! That was great. That was fan-fucking-tastic. I will definitely play the full version when it comes out. Yeah, that was, that was great. Yeah, I need to figure out if there's a way to wishlist it. Here are the QR codes if you want to check out their Twitter, their YouTube, their Itch.io. I always call it Itch.io. People call it Itch. I don't like that. Itch.io. Itch.io. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder when this is actually going to come out. Well, cool. That was, that was great. Uh, let's move on to the next one. I played a few games by this dev before. Wow. Sick. Yeah, uh, this one is Leave Me Alone. <laughs> Explore the hidden terror in the depths of Whispering Woods Forest in this slasher, uh, slasher game inspired by PS1 classics and horror films from the 80s and 90s. Jackson Foster and Noah Carter's tranquil journey turns into a nightmare as night falls, revealing sinister secrets and a masked killer. Sick. Uh, also, they this dev has done a bunch of games that I really enjoyed. Uh, the Wanted Man's House, uh, The Smiling Man, Death Tapes, uh, Night Maniac. Yeah. I don't think I played Shadow Eyes, and I thought I had played The Slasher Camp Massacre. But I need to play these as well. I like other games. All right, here we go. Leave me alone. <laughs> WAC to walk. Uh, shift to run. C to switch camera. Whoa. E or left mouse to interact. Got it. Let's let's try this third person perspective for a little bit. Oh, it's like fixed person or fi fixed camera. Leave me alone. Are we victim number one? Yep. Leave me alone. He said the thing. God, this... That's, like, that droning sound, that's how I feel in the mornings. I'd better get ready to meet up with Noah and go camping. Yeah. Cute. I need to grab the backpack and as a precaution a lighter in case we decide to make a campfire. Is he Australian? Lighter? Uh, retrieve your backpack and lighter. Got it. Oh, bleh. here. Let's go to first person. Oh, 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 oh. It's still... I don't use the mouse for it. Okay. I can figure this out. I haven't played a fixed camera perspective like this in a long time. Resident Evil 1 vibes. Can you take a shower? Can you take a shit and not flush and summon the poop killer? You forgot to flush. Now you're gonna eat that shit. That is a massive backpack! Look at that! Damn! Can't play a video game. Let's see if the magazines had like a little Easter egg on there. What? Uh, oh, that's the front door. In the fridge. Ooh, a knife. Leave the house. Got it. Yep, some bread. 
Oh, the ooh, first person running feels weird. Yeah, weird. Not bad, just different. Oh, wait a minute. Is this gonna be copyright? YouTube has been absolutely obliterating me with copyright lately. <laughs> yeah, I love that shit. Hey Noah, excited for this adventure in the forest. Absolutely, Jackson. This getaway is going to be the best. Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. Totally agree. Hey, I heard this forest has strange stories. Legends of things that roam at night. Ah, huh, you know how those stories go. Just legends to add more excitement to the experience. It won't be anything major. Just two guys enjoying the outdoors. Oh, but they're going to be enjoying the outdoors. Right. But seriously, what would you do if we encountered something bizarre out there? Ha <laughs> ha! Man, if I saw something strange, I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious note, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Nothing major is going to happen. You always manage to reassure me, Noah. Let's make the most of the night. Cute. So I'm pretty sure those are AI generated voices. Which like for a small... <laughs> yeah. For an independent dev like this on a small free release, I really don't mind. I'm sure there are actual voice actors out there though that would do something for free for you. I do voice acting for free if I like the t if I like the release. That's something I'd also want to get back into is doing voice acting. Finally, we've arrived. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get to it. How about this, Jackson? You set up the tent, and I'll go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? All right. I'll start setting up the tent. <laughs> These guys are so friendly to each other. It was like, gee willikers. Set up tent. Ah, can I leave? Ooh. Okay, now it's actually over the shoulder. Interesting. <gasps> A base builder? Hell yeah. Alright, so we have an exit over there, and an exit over there, so let's put it like right in the middle. E. She backpack from the car, got it. Uh. There we go. It was way bigger at home. Plop this thing down. Kablam! Retrieve lantern from the car. You have two hands. You could have done lantern in one and backpack in the other. Or just wore the backpack. Let's slang this down. Kablap! Explore the map and wait for Noah. Okay. Um... this way. Whoa. Um, let's go, let's see, there's left, right, let's go right, because right is right, left is wrong. Instantly found a creepy mansion. I guess not mansion, I guess just a brick house. Oh, this is probably where that guy was. And he was like, leave me alone. Akira. Just leave me alone. Ding. Ah. What? How's it going, everybody? How you doing? What is this? A graveyard? Sure looks like it. All right. 
There's a note. Uh. Uh. No, oh, Noah's back. Return to the tent. Okay. Uh. Macabre discovery in Whispering Woods Cemetery. September 19th, 1982. The tranquil. Uh, the tranquility of the peaceful Whispering Woods forest was once again disrupted by a sinister discovery when a body was found in the local cemetery. Residents who frequent the forest for outdoor activities and visit the cemetery are perplexed by the disturbing event. Details are still scarce, but initial reports indicate that a passerby discovered the body during a morning walk through the cemetery. Authorities were immediately alerted and are conducting a thorough investigation to determine the victim's identity? as well as the circumstances that led to this ominous discovery. The area around the cemetery has been temporarily, uh, cordoned off as, an, as investigators seek evidence and clarification on the incident. So far, there is no information on eyewitnesses and or possible suspects. Residents are expressing growing unease, reigniting old rumors and dark stories associated with the forest and the cemetery. Authorities are appealing for, the, for community collaboration urging anyone with relevant information to come forward to assist in solving this dark mystery. The investigation is ongoing and updates will be provided as more information emerges. Okay. Uh, back. Just want to go camping in these sinister woods. But ha ha, it's going to be okay. They're just stories. We just found like a full ass news clipping in a cemetery talking about a body that was found in the cemetery. Let's see, do I have to talk to him yet or can I keep exploring the map? Looks like I can avoid him. So let's go this way. I want to see what's on. Ow. Fucker. All right. Hi. Hey, Jackson. I brought the firewood. Let's set up the campfire. It's getting late. Yes. Jackson, do you have something to light the campfire? I brought a lighter. It's in the car. I'll go get it. Why didn't they just bring everything with them? Or put the lighter in the backpack? God damn it. Alright. Uh. E. So I can actually, like, run out this way? I want to see... Whispering Woods. Cute. Alright, well, let me on the road. This little chime that's playing. I think it's just, like, a few little few bars and then it loops. E. Cute. Man, nothing like the warmth of a good campfire to ward off any weird feelings in the forest. I agree, Noah. Sometimes it's good to escape the urban routine and enjoy nature. So speaking of which, how about telling some spooky stories? They say it's a camping tradition. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. I have one to start. Ever heard of the local legend of the Silent Trail Ghost? <laughs> hmm. No, I haven't. What's that story? They say, many years ago, a lone traveler got lost in this forest. He walked a narrow trail, but was never seen again. They say now, at night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. Well, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained. But there's always something eerie about this forest, don't you think? Meh. Sometimes, imagination plays tricks on us. But hey, we're here to have fun. No ghosts are going to spoil our night. I agree, Noah. No legend will stop us from enjoying this getaway. <laughs> They're so polite and friendly. A long time passed. Jackson and Noah talked for hours. Is this going to be like a Brokeback Mountain situation? Very late, and I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. All right, see ya. I'm going to sleep too. I'm exhausted. Here we go. All right. Good night, Noah. About to get saucy. Good night, Jackson. 
Oh, we only brought one sleeping bag. Oh, and it's so cold. Wait. What was that? Oh, I'd better wake up Noah. Did he sleep outside? He did. No, he isn't here. Where is he? Wow. All right, so I know what's over there. Let's. I wonder if I can actually go this way now, or if it's gonna block me off. Wow. Yeah, these different perspectives are nice. They're actually set up in like kind of cool locations. Very cinematic. Uh, E or C? Okay. Gotta make sure I wasn't missing a little trail. Got some tall grass. Oh, it's a little house. Should have slept here. Covered in some graffiti. It says I can click E on it. Let's look around first. Oh, it went in through a window? I thought I was going to examine it. Oh, shit. Uh, Mystery and Whispering Woods Forest, January 27th, 1983. In a shocking turn of events, the serene Whispering Woods Forest, known for its tranquility, has become the stage for a mysterious incident. Authorities were alerted after the discovery of disturbing evidence suggesting a possible murder deep within the forest. Details are scarce at the moment, but sources indicate that the incident occurred during the night, adding a layer of mystery to the occurrence. <laughs> Authorities have not confirmed the identity of the victim or the possible perpetrator, keeping details under wraps as the investigation is ongoing. Local residents have expressed shock and concern about the situation, recalling urban legends and old stories associated with the forest. So far, there are no reports of eyewitnesses to the incident occurring... Wait. Wait. To the incident contributing <laughs> to the enigma surrounding the event. Authorities are appealing to anyone with relevant information or who may have noticed suspicious activities in the Whispering Woods area to come forward immediately. The investigation continues and more details will be released as information becomes available. Okay, I got a stack of tires. Got a TV in here? Hmm. Two doors. Let's try this one. Uh, I don't see anything weird in here. So I can examine this. And I cannot. All right. Yeah! Hi! Oh shit! Oh come on. How are you going through the door? Or through the walls like that? Are you a ghost? Are you a specter? I didn't, I didn't expect to trigger this part yet. I thought it was going to be the other side. There was that creepy building over there. I think I was just like walking through. Oh, he's actually chasing me. I have blood on me, so I know I'm hurt. I don't know how many stabs I can take. All right, let's get to the car.
Uh. No? Oh, shit! He's like right behind me. Did I get hit by a car? Oh no, I died. Game over. Restart? Restart for me? Okay, can't go in that door. Alright, so now I know, as soon as this triggers, I can run away. <laughs> Damn it. Some of the angles it points the character in make it really hard to like turn around and escape. Okay, so now I know that I can't run out towards the street because I get hit by a car? Which is a big old bummer. And I can't get into my car. So I guess let's go over to the other building. Maybe I can uh, run to the graveyard? I don't know. Gotta have the lantern. Man, I dusted this dude. I'm a track star. Oh, oh, never mind. I saw him. He's he's behind me still. All right, so let's get in here. Oh no, yeah, this is... Oh shit. Yeah. Oh wait! That's us! From the... Oh shit. Yeah, this is the leave me alone part. Leave me alone. I like that. It was just like a a quick little slasher. The fixed camera perspectives were actually really good. I like that. The way the character faces when you go through doors sometimes makes it hard to get away from the killer. Yeah, I like that a lot. That was good. I like all their games. They're just nice little horror experiences. Well, cool. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Okay, and this one's called No Skin. Hmm. Takes a while to tab out of it. Uh, no Skin is a RPG roguelike characterized by a horror atmosphere and a smooth yet complex gameplay. Face the horrors uh, that the house hides behind every corner and discover who the No Skin Man truly is. Sick. And the controls are interesting as well. It's the arrow keys and Z and X. Yeah. Interesting. It says there's an intro, so let's watch the intro. <laughs> Esther, I didn't tell him anything. I don't know how he found out. Rugs. <laughs> Please, enough with the story. I don't want to think about it anymore. Nor? Noir? In the end, how did it go yesterday? Then, oh, okay, so that's me. Let's forget about it. I clocked out after a 14 hour shift. Damn. The bitch told me she didn't like how I worked. Next time, maybe I'll give, maybe give me a human friendly shift. What do you think? Oops, 
Maybe it was better if I had stayed quiet. We have, there's a lot of characters. I'm not feeling very well. Esther, come here and give me a kiss. And we lost Trish. Hey, how about a round of that racing game? The last one to finish takes a sip from the bottle. Wait, we're almost done with the drinks. Noir? Noir? How do I say that? Uh, can you go to the kitchen for a second? There should be something left. Okay. Crap, how much did I drink? I can't stand up. The hallway seems to be moving. <laughs> I even feel like I see someone in the dark. Huh? Bitch where? As if. Oh. Now I do. My skin. Where's my skin? What? I don't understand. How should I know where your skin is? You know exactly where it is. And you have to give it back to me. Until you do, I will show you things as they really are. You think it's a gift, isn't it? But very soon you'll understand. Take these, you'll need them. I got a knife. And a gun. Belladonna. If I see you again and you don't have my skin, then I'll be the last thing you see. Good luck. <laughs> Cute. All right. So we're partying with some friends. I'm drunk as shit and saw somebody with no skin. So I gotta figure out where his skin is. Uh, select the level of uh, devotion to the goddess. No faith. Simplified mode to get familiar with the game's mechanics. Start the game with a gift from the goddess when you die. Reduce enemy health, increase uh, player health, earn more shards for defeated enemies. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Percentage obtained in order to find the skin. One. Uh, choose a location. Um, events and their probabilities. The 6% chance is to face Esther. 39% chance to meet the long guild fish. 1% chance of the unexpected. Uh, so this is the storage room. 6% chance to face Trish. 20% to meet the hanged man. 19 to find ammo. One is un unexpected. Uh, then in the balcony, 60% 60 chance to face rugs. 30% chance to find cigarettes. Nine to meet a girl similar to me. And then one unexpected event. Let's start off just in here. Oh, I got the long guild fish immediately, I guess. Glub glub. Glub, glub, glub. Glub, glub. Glub. How may I help you? Uh, so that increases the chance of escape. Belladonna. Increase the damage inflicted by the knife in this battle by one. And I have no shards. So... Yeah, up in the top you can see my shards and the health. Um... Oh, hold X to close. Alright. Buy fish. Percentage obtained in order to find the skin. Two. Huh. Face uh, sharp knives. So I can go back to the, to Mary's, oh, this is, these are different, Mary's room. Face Mary, meet a mysterious girl, find crimson fragments, unexpected event. Um, face sharp knives, find the frog's lair. Face the follower of the false god. Observe the cult followers meeting. Uh, take a shower, 
Oh yeah, I'll do that. The followers are gathering. You manage to hide before they see you. Offer something to the false god. I would lose one belladonna. Kill a follower? I lose an HP? I'll give up my belladonna. You offer a sacrifice to the false god. This offering allows you to recover half of your maximum health points. Having done that, you leave the room under the admiring eyes of the faithful. So, I still have yet to get any shards, so I might have... Maybe I should have killed one of them. Storage room, Mary's room, bathroom? Um... Let's go back to the storage room and maybe we can face Trish? You... Ain't got no face. Each action ends your turn, except for using items in your bag. You can use as many items as you like in a single turn, and then select an action. Okay. <laughs> Pray to the goddess. Any damage you would take this turn becomes one. Um, open bag. Escape. Let's... I want to save my ammo for somebody tougher than Trish. So let's go and knife her. Hell yeah. Trish is waiting. Okay, keep waiting, bitch. Mm. Trish attacks. Two health? Ow! Slash. I win. Oh, ow, no! Uh, plead for mercy. Probability is 33%. Haha, <laughs> I pity you. Trish attacks. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, damn. I should have gave her the glack glack. The moon? You really can't untangle the situation, huh? All right. Now you'll start each time with a little help. Don't disappoint me. Max HP plus one. Increase your gun's precision. <clears throat> Increase the number of fragments obtained when de from defeated enemies. Let's do that. I like money. So I'm, okay, so now I'm back at one. Okay, so bathroom. Face the followers. Observe the cult. Take a shower. Face sharp knives. I feel like he's just going to stab me to death. Let's face Trish again. Oh, here's the hangman. A man is hanging in the center of the room. It seems like he's still breathing. Attempt to free it, I lose one HP. You free him, but from the effort you lose one health point, okay? In the end, the man is free. He rewards you with an item and some fragments. So I got nine fragments. And a belladonna. Belladonna! A bellissima belladonna! So what exactly is a belladonna? It's not enemies you can't hit in any way. They are recognized by question marks instead of health points. In these cases, the only chance of survival is to escape. Fuck. Uh. Uh oh. Oh no. I think it's glitched. It's not doing anything. Oh, all right. Here, I'm gonna run through this one more time. Let's see some other shit we can get. I would like to actually beat this, but that's a pretty bad glitch. Hey, buddy. So, I've gone through this a few more times. I keep getting stuck on the sharp knives. Like, it glitches out to where I can't do anything. So, I'm going to try one more time for the frog's lair, because I have 76 fragments. Fuck. Okay, good. It didn't, it didn't freeze up. Okay, so... Get some ciggies. 
be able to escape. Damn it. Because I really need to go see those frogs. There we go. Um, I have yet to face Mary. I keep getting the mysterious girl. There we go. Okay, so I'm out of ammo as well, so I need to go see the fish. Ow. Ow. Items. I think I have... Nope, I don't. I thought I had more strange pills. Let's try to either get to the fish. Yeah. Maybe we get the fish. There we go. Sick. So I realize that the ammo it only brings up to a maximum of five. You can't, like, hoard ammo. So let's do that. Let's get some strange pills, just so I can heal. So I have 65. So I need to get the frogs. Let's try for the frogs again. Perfect! I love these little fuckers. So cute. Okay, so the hunter's knife is used on the hanging man somehow, so I'll buy that. I can actually buy like all this. Except for the gun and torch. But I'd rather this anyways. Sick, so we're loaded. So now I gotta get to the hanged man. Um, Hunter's Knife. Still only one damage, but... Wait a minute, I bought ammo. Oh, I have to use it. Okay, let's... I have a lot of Belladonna as well, so let's go ahead and use one of those. Okay, let's get to the hanged man. Nadine's room. Okay, Nadine. Face Nadine, meet the sacrificial lamb. Find blood and bile? Hmm. Everything seems calm. Oh, I'm gonna find blood and bile? On the ground, there is a trail of blood. You earn blood and bile. You leave the room, disgusted. So what does that do? What does blood and bile do? <laughs> uh, let's go to the lounge. Either fight Esther or buy some more ammo. Okay. Damn, she has a lot of HP now. Fuck. Change pills. Blood and bile. Gain two non-permanent maximum health points. Oh, sick. Okay. Um... Is waiting. Yeah, reduce that to one just in case I missed. Twelve fragments and a belladonna. Okay. I need uh, no, no more enemy HP. They're not showing me the hanged man anymore. Let's go to the cult chamber. Maybe I can face the priestess of the false god. That's them again. Help, help. Yeah, so they're going to give me a, a gift. Okay, full health. You get 12 fragments. Increase the base damage of the knife, but reduce accuracy by 6. Strange bag, 20 fragments. Let's go and get that. Thanks, ladies. Come on, ladies. Um.
There we go. Crystal, okay, sick. Items, let's use a Belladonna. Okay, one HP, that's fine. Fucking you up. Golden bullet? Sounds nice. Now show me that hanged man, goddammit. Oh no. You try to cross the hallway, but something hides in the darkness. It's approaching, getting closer and closer. Holy spirit? Alright. Uh. It's an attack dealing three damage. Um. Change pills. I feel like I... Hmm. Yeah, let's go and do that. What? hate you. I feel like the percentages aren't accurate at all. Ugh. Alright. Looks like it's poison? God damn it. I have a lot of ammo, so I'm just gonna... Charging attacks. Let's... I'm out of Abelladona. You son of a bitch. There we go. Medicate. Nice. Now. They're just not showing me. the hangman anymore. <coughs> Store all HP. I'll wait on that. I don't want to use that up either. Damn. Me and Hammer's going to have a death by a thousand cuts fight here. You son of a bitch. A devastating attack. So let's do that. Bonk. Okay, now items. Let's restore all HP. Haha, -ha, but that sucks. Another golden bullet. I can't wait for that to miss. God damn it. <laughs> um, let's... Go here? Oh, hi Nadine. Sick. Okay, got her down to three already. How, do you, how are you doing poison? Waiting. All right. Well. Blood and bile. Okay. So I need to start using blood and bile since I went multiple. Okay. Yeah. They're like, ever since I got that hunter's knife, I can't get them to show me the hangman anymore. They're just not showing me that room. Hangman, please. Sick. Cut the rope. 
freeing the man. He rewards you with an item and some fragments. 12 fragments and cigarettes. Come on. No, not the Holy Spirit. I had warned you. Where's my skin? Jesus Christ. You can see how much damage it reduces, increases in the top right. So I have minus four. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm fucked. Um. Zero percent chance of escape. Perfect. Love that for myself. So I'm just dead. So I'm I'm just dead. All right. Well, I really enjoy this. This is a lot of fun. The glitch with the sharp knives needs to be fixed. But other than that, I like it. I might run through this one more time off camera and try to get the ending. Offer... The, what the fuck? Plead for mercy. Probability 5. Haha. <laughs> I pity you. Instant death. Oh, hi. Congratulations. You won. What? We should celebrate. What'd you think? You had to get 100? I'm sorry, but the game is far from being completed. Oh, okay. So I actually did kind of beat it. Okay. For now, you'll have to settle for this ending. Congratulations. Beep, beep. <laughs> what? Wait a moment. What is this sound? It doesn't seem to be coming from this world. Beep, beep. Is that the sound of an alarm clock, perhaps? Time has come to part ways. We will see each other again very soon. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Wake up! Cute. I like that a lot. Like, when this is actually done, I'll replay it as like its own video, because I really enjoyed that. Uh, it required like a lot of strategy and kind of like thinking through like, okay, what room should I go to? Uh, the percentages, I can just tell, are way off. Like, I was missing a lot of 90% chance hits. Uh, and I was getting the hanged man whenever that was an option, like, all the time. I was getting him more often than I was the main thing. And, yeah, I liked it. I liked it, though. It was good. Uh, cool. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and this one's called Trust the Watchers. Yeah, this is looks like a medieval horror game, which I'm very intrigued by. I always like the idea of horror set in different time periods. Uh, on a small clearing in the woods, we find three souls around a small fire, struggling to stay warm. That's it. The rest is up to you. Yeah. Uh, it was made in two weeks for the 7D FPS. Hmm? 2023 jam. And I don't think I've played anything else by them. I haven't played Blood Loss, and I haven't played From the Mist, so I should check these games out too. Yeah. Uh, they're from South America. Hey, nice. Sick. Let's do it. On a small clearing in the woods, we find three souls are in a small fire, struggling to stay warm. Three days of non-stop rain. These woods have been forsaken by the gods. Why must we watch over this cursed land? I'm covered in mud and freezing. This post is a waste of time. Complaining is not going to make the f this fire any bigger, old man. We need more wood. Don't you dare look at me. The old man is too tired from starting the fire in the first place. And every piece of wood is wet around here in case you haven't noticed. It is time for the rookie to earn his place. Hear that, rookie? It is your time to shine. We need some dry wood, so grab that axe and go into the forest. It must be something out there that is not soaking wet. Uh, F1 for help. Okay, easy enough.
Nice armor, bro. Oh, that's a mustache. The yellow. That's his mustache. Got it. It's a blonde mustache. I was like, is that his teeth? Well, he has one too. Maybe it is his teeth. Yeah. Well, that's his teeth for sure. We have some haunts. Hello. Adorable. All right. It's a, it's a satisfying swing. I'm kind of embarrassed to, like, and. Admit how long I spent on that last game. I think like about an hour. When I play games like that, I always want to try to get to the ending or beat it. And yeah, that, that, that one took me a while. Nothing short about that horror game at all. Okay, there's a big tree out there. All right, I think that's all I can, all I can do. This old tree seems dry enough. Hmm. In a big clearing. All right. Ugh. Is the tree groaning? <laughs> Hell yeah! Minecraft style! <laughs> oh, okay, so I can only carry two. I love it whenever you cut a tree down in games and it just explodes into smaller logs. Okay, what's up, fellas? I'm a hero. I've saved the day. Hello. This is some good lumber, rookie. There's not enough to last for the night. Go bring some more. <laughs> Dickhead. And what are you doing, <laughs> fat fuck? <laughs> oh wow, if I if I hold right or left in sprint, it is zoomy as fuck. Are you mad that I cut your tree down? Sawi. Okay, so I got these two. Yeah, look how fast I run if I go left or right. <laughs> oh shit! Hello? The horses are gone, and so are the dudes. Oh, and this tent's fucked. Okay, I guess let's follow the blood trail. Sell my axe, I guess. Hello? Holy shit. Oh god, I am... Oh! It didn't kill me, it took me to like, a nest. <laughs> Sell my axe, that's good. Mm. 
get out. Nope. That sounds like the PS1 startup screen. right there. Nope. I'm assuming the way that I have to cut is the way I need to go. Are they making that sound? <gasps> yeah! Get me out of here, haunts. I love horses. I love them. I like brushing them. Their their noses are so soft. I love to feed them. Like whenever they use their lips to pull food out of your hand so they don't bite you. It's so cute. I want to see what happens if you die. Let me, I'm going to blast through this one more time and see if I can get like a death ending. And horses smell good too. It's weird. Yeah. I had a... I, I grew up in a very small town in Arkansas. And we had a lot of just acreage. A lot of land. And so we had some horses on it to help kind of just keep the grass short. <laughs> uh, we had Mooney, uh, Rouster, and then later on we had Pepper. Mooney is my favorite. He was an all-black horse, but he had this little white spot that looked like a crescent moon. Uh, Pepper was the nicest. Yeah, I miss, I miss those horses. So nice. Hello. Cute. Jesus Christ! Beat the shit out of me! <laughs> cool. I like that a lot. Uh, short and sweet. The the character models and stuff like that were looking really good. And then... So, those trees, that tree that I cut down, was that made of people? Because it kind of groaned when I was cutting it. And then my, my homeboys were being like merged with the tree. Yeah, let's go to the last one. Okay, and this last one is called Call Out. Yeah, it's a found footage horror game that takes place in a sewer. Call Out is a short, short found footage style atmospheric horror game where your first day on the job maintaining the sewage system turns into a nightmare. Let's do it. We find some big old dookies. The worst part of hell is not the fire. It's the hopelessness. Hey, leave. I was gonna check for a coward ending. There's a padlock here. Oh, if I hold right click, there's a slow zoom in. That's nice. Hello? There's a walkie talkie under me? Come in. Loud and clear. Er, which way? We go left, up towards 1A. Okay. Roger. Looks like I drew the lucky straw. Heh. Uh, would be me down there, but years of smoking took its toll. red box here. Perfect. 
First box back online. Uh, head down to section 1B and 2B. Got it. Roger that. Okay, this is 1B. So this isn't the kind of sewer I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like the poopy dookie kind of sewer. Weird sounds playing through the radio. Okay. Take it up there. Yeah, what is that sound? Uh, that's where I need to get to. Here we go. Radioactive shit? So am I going to be... Is it going to be like a mutated monster or something? There's two A. Two B. What the fuck? That actually scared me. That was good. Huh. So it's all boarded up. Um... Fuck. Get help! What's going on? I've got a uh, part of a dead body down here? A what? You're breaking up. Dead body, get the police. Someone's down here. I think it's what I clicked. Hello? I'm fucked. Still trying to do my job, I guess. Can't go that way. Oh, I am lost. 3A. Okay, 2B. So I'm okay, I'm back on track. Can't go up, of course. Oh. Footsteps. Okay, I can't go either way. Hi!
Oh, fuck off. Whee! Here we go. <laughs> what? Oh, that was it? Oh. And that was just a guy. So was it, was the, was, hold on, I was, I want to check something really quick. So was the guy in the radio the one that kills me? Because that, that looks like just some guy with a hard hat. So instead of once, I, I had to go that way. What's over here? Ah, missing poster. Environmental storytelling. All right. Well, cool. That was that was atmospheric and effective. I like that. If it if it was longer, I think this would be great. Uh, but for what it is, I think it's nice. I love these just short little horror games. I'm always so curious what developers can do on a budget and time constraint. So yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I have some exclusive content up there. I did the Poop Killer Origins and Walking Dead Michonne is coming up very soon. Uh, I have other stuff planned for it as well. Um, you can get your name in my credits as well. Uh, leave a like. It really helps. And if you have any recommendations for other games I should cover, please let me know in the comments. Cool. Yeah. Bye.